Stop the screen. Hey, calm down, you calm all down, the time man. calm down, hey. Jesus. So today I'm doing something a little bit different and I'm going to smash my dad's laptop and it's time to smash it. Right Leslie, are you ready for this? Yes. I want you to use this hammer and smash your brother's laptop, Richard's, right now. I can't do that. Why? That's his laptop, he uses it. And? Well, you go mad. And? Well, perhaps I could. <laughs> yeah, I think you could, you know. Mm. It would be funny though, wouldn't it? It would be funny, wouldn't it? Imagine yeah. this. Imagine his face when we smash his laptop. Imagine what yeah. he's going to be at like. He's going to go mad. Think of all the times we've pranked him. Imagine his face right now. How angry it gets. Let's make him angry again, shall oh, we? Oh, yeah, let's do Should it. Should we do it? Yeah, it'd be ready? funny! It'd be funny! <laughs> <laughs> right, are you ready for this? Yes, no. Should we do it inside or outside? Outside. Should we do it outside, yeah? yeah. Come on, bring it outside. Jamie. What? Do you really, really want me to do this? You, what, do I really want you to smash his laptop? Yeah, I feel a bit bad, mate. What? I feel a bit bad. Why? Well, it's his laptop, isn't it? Yeah, but... Are you do, sure you really want me to do it? Do you really feel bad? Come on, think about it. Do you really feel bad? After everything he's done? No. No, neither do I. So just <laughs> smash it. <laughs> just be ready for this. Yeah. Right, on the countdown from five. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Smash! <laughs> Oh my god, look what you've done. Straight through the screen. <laughs> oh, he did a good job though, didn't he? You? you did a good job, yeah. He's gonna go absolutely mental. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's funny. You ready for this? I'm gonna start the screen. <laughs> Richards! Wake up! What? I've got a massive surprise for you. What's that? Did I wake you up? Yes. All right, now don't get angry. Now go easy. Easy. What? Easy. Calm down. I can see you getting angry. It? Calm down. Now listen. You just woke me up. Right, now your brother's got a surprise for you. What is it? Now, like I said, don't get angry. Just stay calm, alright? I'm never angry. Right, Leslie, come show him the surprise. Come on, come show him. Richard, I accidentally dropped your laptop. <laughs> what do you mean you dropped my laptop? Oh, look at it. Why you can't do that by dropping my laptop? Well, I did. <laughs> Just dropped on my hands! Oh, <laughs> stupid! Right, Richard, calm down. Honestly, let me listen. What do you mean, calm down? Calm down. My laptop. Calm down. My laptop. Calm down. My laptop, Dad. Richard, I can see, yes! I'm going to tell you what happened. Oh. Let, let me explain. Your brother... Right, come here. Right, this is the truth, innit? I'm, I'm being honest, right? This is what happened. Your brother accidentally threw your laptop in the sky and then didn't pick it up. <laughs> but what did you do that for? I don't know. Ask him. He knows I use that every day. <laughs> what did you do it for? Well, this is funny! <laughs> yeah, funny, is it? You think that funny, do you? Hey, hey, you little midget! <laughs> Look at you! <laughs> hey! I do think it's funny, yeah! <laughs> no. To be fair, hey. Richard, to be fair, I was in on it as well. Well, I'd really guess that, wouldn't I, eh? <laughs> it's always you, innit? <laughs> hey! Hey! Calm down! You! Calm all down! The time, man. Calm down, hey. Richard! Well, there's your laptop. <laughs> well, there it is, Richard. Hey, look! Look at it! Look at it! You better go and get me a new one! No! No? <laughs> no! You better! Right, uh, Leslie, are you gonna buy him a new one? No, I ain't! Why? Well, I don't know. <laughs> Funny no more, ain't it? Look well, at it. Well, Richard, you had you had that laptop for years. Oh, you <laughs> You always see a strong with me, boy. Right? Oh, you got it. So this is my Uncle Leslie and he is always arguing with his brother Richard. Leslie is always trying to make Richard angry as Richard's temper is very short. So today, me, Richard and Lauren are going to get revenge on Leslie and see how angry we can make him for the next 24 hours. Now, if we're going to make Leslie really angry, we're going to have to raise the level every single time we prank it. So make sure you watch to the very end as each prank gets crazier and crazier and crazier. So now it's time to make Leslie angry and there's one person who is dying to go first and that is Richard. It's time for me to get my own payback time on him now. He's a silly, silly, silly old man. I such a stupid pensioner any, <laughs> eh? Now I'm gonna get him back big time. You're getting him back today, aren't you? Oh yeah. I'm gonna start off slowly first. Yeah. And I'm gonna wind him up and really, really make him angry. What are you gonna do then? Well, I think I'm gonna start off by trying to kiss him and kiss him. 
to get in one room here. So you're gonna kiss your brother? Yeah, I'm gonna try to. <laughs> oh, make him angry. He don't like that. And then we're gonna team up, all of us, and we can really wind him up. That's correct. Hello, my dear darling. Oh. What are you three, you stupid old man? I'm only trying to give you a kiss, my princess. Go away. Come here. Bro, just give him a kiss. Let me give don't be stupid. I don't wanna kiss him, my brother. Come here. Go away. Come here. I love you. Richard. Go away, you stupid old pensioner! Go away! Calm down! Well, I'm not gonna calm down, you are stupid man he is! So Richard kept trying to kiss Leslie over and over again and kept trying to wind him up. And Leslie was getting pretty annoyed. But it was now my turn and I've got something bigger in mind. So Jamie, it's your turn now. I've got the best idea ever. I'm gonna go onto Leslie's phone and text his ex-girlfriend saying I miss you. No. I am. Oh, he's <laughs> gonna go mad. And by the way, he absolutely hates his ex-girlfriend, doesn't he, Lauren? Yes. Right, Richard, I've got Leslie's phone here and I'm gonna text his ex-girlfriend and say I miss her, I want her back. What, too far? Well, I reckon. I don't know, I reckon it's funny! Oh, yes, <laughs> Richard, what's Leslie's ex-girlfriend name? Uh, Lisa. Lisa, Lisa. I found it! You're like, I found Lisa, look, I'll show you! See, Lisa. Richard, what should I say? Right, Richard, I'm gonna say, I miss you, baby. I really think we should work things out. Can you call me? That's not bad, is it? Check how she's sending. I've just texted Leslie's ex-girlfriend and told her that he misses her and he wants her to call him. Let's see if she actually does call him. Take that, you Stupid old pensioner! Hello, what do you want? No, I haven't texted you. No, I don't miss you at all. I don't? Now listen, I haven't texted you. Just leave me alone, you're a horrible woman. What do you mean? I have not texted you. Will you just go away and leave me alone, you stupid old woman? I don't want you. Leslie, what's wrong? My ex-missus keeps texting me, saying I text her, saying I miss her and all that. You was on the phone to her? I was telling her I never text her. Well, you, why is she ringing you then? I don't know. She said, like, I text her saying, oh, I miss her and I want to meet up with her. I've never said nothing like that. I've never even texted her. Do you miss your ex-girlfriend? No. What's wrong with her? She's a horrible woman. All right, well, show me your phone then. Prove it. No. Show me. All oh, sis then. I miss you, baby. I think we can work things out. Can you call me? What's that? Let me have a look. See, I told you. I didn't send this at all. Well, you must stop. Well, did you send it, did you? Um, Richard, did we send a text to Leslie's ex-girlfriend? Um, did we send it? Did we send a text to Leslie's ex-girlfriend? Oh. oh, hang on, I think we did. We yeah, did. I think we did. You did? <laughs> What's wrong with you all? You're making me so mad! So far, so good. We're making Leslie angrier and angrier, and Richard is loving every second of this. But now it's time to get an extra helping hand and get Lauren involved on the action. I'm right by Leslie's wardrobe. Yes. I'm gonna get all the clothes from his wardrobe, put it in these bags, and go and put it in the recycling. If you throw all his clothes away, I have no clothes left. Exactly. <laughs> That's really, he's gonna go mental, Lauren. God, it put all his clothes in there. So Lauren began packing his clothes into bags and then we went to the recycling center and she actually threw all of his clothes in the recycling. I cannot believe she actually just did this. Leslie is going to go crazy. Lauren, <gasps> oh my God. You've just thrown all his clothes away. I don't care. Lauren has actually just thrown all of Les's clothes away in that clothes bank. Lauren, he's never getting that back. Why'd you do it for? He rang Richard up, so. I did it back! <laughs> Leslie, I just threw all your clothes away. You what? I threw them all away. You better not have. Well, Leslie. I have. She, honestly, she has. She's just thrown all your clothes away. You haven't. I have, honestly. You better not have. I didn't tell you. Leslie, honestly, go look at your cupboard now. Well, go and have a look now. Oh my god, he's gonna go mad. He's gonna go mad. I better hide down now. Hide. Where's my clothes? Where have you put it? I told you. Oh, you she threw it away. I threw it away. What do you mean you threw it away? Where is it? Well, actually, it's gone to recycling, so it's a good cause, really. You what? <laughs> she put all your clothes in a recycling bin. What well, the fun is it? Get out there and get my clothes. Well, we can't get back. It's in recycling. Well, you can go to recycling and tell them. It's not. It's a bin. You can't tell well, them. You stand where that bin is delivered and tell them I want my clothes back, right? I suggest you go there and you try and get. I them. didn't put them in there. Well, Got you, honey. Yeah. Sorry. I shan't. I will today. Off you go, quick. We followed Leslie and he actually went to the recycling centre to try and get his clothes out. But it was too late. They were actually gone. And he went crazy. They're in there. You've got to get in there. Why can I get out of there now? Well, jump in there. Hey. <laughs> I can't get in there. I want my clothes over there. Get them over there now. Get my... Ah! Get my clothes out. I've had enough of this now. Everyone can pick it on me and all that. I've had enough of it now, right? Do you understand? I've had enough! 
<laughs> so far, we've made Leslie pretty angry, but Richard wants to take things even further. He hasn't had enough yet and wants to make Leslie even more angrier. Why have you got his car keys? Well, I'm just going to put him in his bag, throw him over the fence. You can't do that. I can. What, are you going to throw your brother's car keys away? Yes. What, to next door? Yes. Why? Because it's funny. <laughs> I'm gonna drop his keys in this bag, I'm gonna turn it up like that, I'm gonna swing it, Jamie, yeah. and on three, I'm gonna let it go. One, One two, two, three! <gasps> <laughs> Richard, he's gone over next door! Gone. Do you want me to get in his car I'm now? Gonna tell him. You are? No! You're gonna have to! Why? Can oh. you? He can't get in his car now? No! <laughs> Leslie! Right, now calm down. I'm not calm down, I'm still not happy! Right, well listen, this is going to make you more angrier. I'm very sorry in advance, but your brother's taken your car keys and he's thrown them over next door. Well, he's better not have done that because I'm mad enough as it is now and that's going to make me really, really, really mad. Well, if he have that, that's it, that's trouble. And I mean... Double, double, double trouble! <laughs> you better go tell him then, quick! I will! Richard! Where's my car keys? Well, I had a little bit of accident with what it. What do you mean you had an accident? Well, I put them in a bag, and I was swinging around like this, and they just come out my hands. <laughs> well, you better not have! <laughs> get over there and get them! I need them! I need my car! I've got to go out! Well, I can't get them! Get over there! Get up there! Come on! Come on! Get over there, Carlos! You ain't Stop. trying! Not funny, is it? <laughs> no! Oh. I've had enough of this! I've had enough! You just made me so mad all day! I think at this point we've pushed Leslie a bit too far. I think it's time we now apologise and say sorry to Leslie. We've caused him a lot of distress. Should we say sorry? Let's do one more prank. One more prank. One more. One more yeah, prank. One more. One massive big Good. prank! But as we were planning the next prank, something seriously bad happened. We heard shouting in the next room and Leslie was actually on the floor holding his heart, struggling to breathe. This had backfired, and Leslie was not in a good way. Are you okay, Leslie? Keep him with the church. Go home. Get an ambulance. Go home. Yes! Stupid old pedagogy! You are stupid old pedagogy right here! What are you doing that for? Wait, wait. You just pretend to have an heart attack. That's not funny, Leslie. That is ridiculous. Not. You can't do that. The war's begun. So watch out, both of you. Right, guys, as you can see, I've got loads of stuff here. I've got shoes, hoodies, clothes. I spent over £200 on clothes with my dad's card. Can I take my card, spend my money, without my permission? Well, I have. All right. Today, I'm going to steal my dad's credit card and go and buy loads of clothes and items with it all day long. I've secretly taken his card, I'm going to go shopping and buy myself loads of new things without him even knowing. And then I'm going to go back to my dad's house and show him all the things I brought and see his reaction. This is going to be hilarious. Make sure you guys watch to the very, very end because this could go very, very wrong. So first I went to Greg's and there were so many things to choose from to eat and drink. I decided to get a pizza slice and a cup of coffee from Richard. Next it was time to go shopping and spend some serious money. I went around loads of shops looking for new hoodies, t-shirts, basically anything I could buy from Richard's card. Every time I was paying for something it was done on Richard's card. After shopping for over one hour I decided to get some more shoes and some more items. In total I spent over £200. Right guys, as you can see I've got loads of stuff here. I've got shoes, hoodies, clothes. I spent over £200 on clothes with my dad's card. He's gonna go absolutely crazy. Right guys, I think it's time I go and tell him I brought all of this stuff on his card. He's gonna go absolutely crazy. Let's go see what he does. Richard! Look what I've got! What's that? I've been shopping! Oh, that's good, isn't it? I've got new shoes, new hoodies. I spent over £200 on clothes. £200? I've cheated myself. That's very good of you, innit? Yeah, look, have a look, look. New shoes, new hoodies, everything in there. But what's an occasion? Nothing, I just thought I'd spend £200. Where'd you get £200 from? Well, that's a very good question. You actually say that. Now, I've been thinking long and hard about this, and I thought, I don't have £200 to spend on clothes. Well, I know that. But you do. Oh, yeah, I have. Yeah, so I just brought it on behalf of you. What do you mean, on behalf of me? Well, I brought all this on behalf of you. Ew! What do you mean, how? Ew! Well, I basically went in the shop and said, Richard's paying. No, you can't, because I wasn't there. No, but your card was. What card? Well, I took your card out your wallet. Your what? <laughs> okay, no, listen, calm down. Calm down, right? The earlier, when you was asleep, I went into your wallet and took your card, and I went on a shopping spree. I've taken everything. Have a better not off. Have a look. It's gone. <laughs> it's gone as well! <laughs> I know, yes! You... 
What did you do that for? Well, I told you I, want, I needed a new hoodie, some new clothes, so I just thought I'd buy it from you. Well, you couldn't ask me, could you? Well, no, you would have said no. I would not have. I would get it to you, wouldn't I? Well, I've just done it for you anyway. What? No, you see, it's telling me, boy. What? I'm telling you now. What? Where's my card? Well, I don't know. A lot Give it back. No, I need I it. I want it back now. Oh, also, I bought myself a Greg's a breakfast roll, a nice cup of coffee. Thanks, Dad. It really needs a lot. So how much do you spend? What, about two, three hundred pounds? Well, you owe me that money, and I want it back. <laughs> what? I want it back off your brute. <laughs> Well, it's gone. Well, I want it. Well, I'm not taking the clothes back. You keep clothes, but I want the money off you. Well, I don't have £200 to give you. Well, you have to pay it back, won't you? No. You will. Can you not just buy it for me? No. Urgh! Calm down. You cannot take my card, spend my money, and break my permission. Well, I have. All right. Why? Because it's not normal, is it? What do you mean it's not normal? It's not. Well, I've done it. You should ask me. Well, I didn't. Well, just get out of sight. <laughs> Go on. Just calm down. Get out. Just calm down. Get out of my way. Richard, right, listen. Get right. out of my way. Just listen, calm now. down. I did get you something. I I, that's not the point. I got you something small. I don't care. I got you a, a parking ticket, I which don't. is in your what? name. <laughs> I got you a, oh, yeah, I took your car as well. You better not have. <laughs> You're having them three points, not me. <laughs> I'm telling you. What? It's not three points, a parking ticket. Oh. You got a hundred pound fine coming. Oh, for not paying in a car park. Yeah, I said it was you, you. I put your name on it. Well, that's it. You better get out, most of You're a silly boy. Really silly. <laughs> oh, you're so stupid, idiot. What? Hey, so stupid. Just calm down. Right. Well, oh, just don't. I don't see why you get so mad. I only took a bit of money. It was my money. Right. Well, it's mine now. Well, it's not, is it? It is. Where's my card? I don't know. I lost it. I want it now. I've lost Give it. Give me my card. Nah. Oh, I'm so, so angry then. Oh. He's so angry. That's it now. He's really dead. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm not happy with him at all. That's it. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> what? What are you laughing? Oh, you think you're smart, don't you? Eh? What? Every time you spend money on my card, I get a notification on my phone. What do you mean? Well, you spent three hundred pounds on mine, didn't you? Yeah, I did. And as soon as you spend it, it comes through to me on my phone. Tell so, me how much I spent. So you knew the whole time? Yeah, I knew I card. Right. I left it in for you. Well, so what about it? So, you think you're smart, don't you? Well, I did spend money on your card, yeah. <laughs> Pay your end. Why? Because when you was out shopping, I went down your house with a spare key and took out your safe. What? Three hundred pounds! Are you serious? <laughs> you took my money out of my I safe? Did, yes. How did you do that? <laughs> Richard, you can't break into my house oh, and take my spare, money! I didn't break in, I had a spare key! <laughs> Give me that money now! Ah, it's mine. That's mine! It's mine! What do you mean it's yours? You spent my money! What, so you nicked it back? Yeah, I borrowed it back! Hang on a minute, so you broke into my house and stole 300 pounds from my safe? I didn't steal it! You did? I never! So you knew this whole time? Yes! You think you're big, don't you? I'm not big, I'm smart. You think you're smart, don't you? <laughs> I am, yeah. That's not funny. It is. You can't be, you've done that. Are you serious? <laughs> Look, I've done it. You're an idiot. I am. Jamie, think big and work smart. <laughs> and Richard always wins, you stupid boy. <laughs> I can't believe he's actually been smart enough to figure that out. He just, he knew the whole time and took money out of my safe. He got me there well and good. I've got to get you back. I'm going to get you back better than this. I'm going to get you back so much better than this. I'm going to get you back. <laughs> yeah, you can get me. Oh, that was good. I know. I just... But I'm going to get you back bigger and better than ever before. You can't, because I'm smarter than you. You're a serious trouble being new, boy. Hey, hey, calm down. Hey, calm down. Hey. <laughs> Today we're going to prank Richard by leaving him deserted at the side of the road. Henry. <laughs> yes. Why are we doing that for? Because it's funny. <laughs> so the way this is going to work is today we're going on a car journey and I'm going to ask Richard to go in a garage for me about an hour away from home and when he goes in the shop, I'm just going to drive off. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to go mad, isn't he? Yeah. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> what do you reckon he's going to do? Well, he's going to go mad, isn't he? Because he's a silly old man. <laughs>
And the best part about it is, is he's not going to be able to get a lift home. He's going to have to walk home over an hour away. He's going to go absolutely livid. Stupid old pinch here. <laughs> Right, we're just waiting for Richard to get in the car and then we're going to set off journey, aren't we? Yep, and it's I'm, action time. It's action time. I'm going to stop at a garage, maybe about an hour away from home. So when you next watch, we'll be at the garage and I'm going to ask him to get out, get us a drink, and then we're going to absolutely bomb it off. <laughs> <laughs> He's never going to see us. <laughs> He's not going to like it. <laughs> but it's funny. <laughs> Get me a can of coke. Yeah, all right. He's going in the shop. He's going in. He's going in the shop. Look, he's going in. <laughs> he's going in. We're about to drive off. You ready for this? Yeah. We're about to absolutely bomb it off. <laughs> he's going in the shop. When he comes back, our car's going to be gone. <laughs> Ready for this? Yeah. Let's, let's, let's go, let's go, let's go. We are literally over 50 minutes away from home, aren't we? Yeah. We're over 50 minutes away. He doesn't know where we are at all. And we're about to just leave him here deserted. <laughs> I feel a bit bad, but it is funny. Oh, it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be ringing us and ringing us and ringing us, isn't he? Yeah. I shall, well, I'll answer and say, what do you want, Richard? <laughs> Drive off. Yes. Right, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Come on, we're doing it. He's going to go mental. <laughs> Are you ready for this? Yeah. He's, we've just left him in the garage. <laughs> we've just left Richard 50 minutes away from home. <laughs> what do you reckon he's going to do? He's going to go mental. He's going to go mad anyway. Yeah. We'll go, do you know what? We'll go left. I was going to go right, but we'll go left. Ready? Ready? Yeah, yeah let's go. Go, 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 go. <laughs> <laughs> We've just left him deserted 50 minutes away from home. <laughs> ah, what a yeah. silly old man. Yeah. <laughs> what an absolute... Plonker. <laughs> Richard, Richard, Richard. What a stupid old plonker and stupid old man you are. <laughs> Jamie, Jamie, ring, he's ringing me. Pull over, quick, pull over. Is he actually ringing you? Yes. <laughs> I think we should ring him back. We've just pulled over. Ring him back. Again? How many times has he rang you? Five times. He's rang him five times. He's rang me twice as well. Right, ring him back and see what he says. Shall I? He's going to go crazy, but yeah, ring him back. Oh, yeah, I'll well, ring him he's, back. He's, he's stood in the garage on his own. I'll ring him. We've just drove off. Of course he's going to be angry. <laughs> <laughs> Put on speaker. Hello? Who the f*** are you? <laughs> Who's this? <laughs> Who's this? Where, where the f*** are you? Who's this talking? Who, who's this? Richard. Who's Richard? Your bloody brother, isn't it? Oh, R Richard. Yeah. Richard. Hello, Richard. Where what you where do? Are you? Where are you? What do you mean, where are we? Yeah, where are you? You're supposed to be in the garage. Well, well, we accidentally drove off, haven't we? Yeah, well, I thought he was in the car when we went. Well, I'll be on your home now, eh? What? Well, then far, well, is it? <laughs> you had to walk home. Oh, that's not bloody funny, is it? <laughs> uh, it's only an hour away, you'll be alright. Well, you probably get back there and pick me up now. <laughs> I can't. Well, Richard, I well, let you calm down, right? Calm down and listen. We've, accident we've accidentally drove off. What do you mean, accidentally? Well, I accidentally, start I, accidentally start I accidentally started the car, accidentally put my foot down. I know, you said, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> How can you accidentally... Drive off in a car, eh? <laughs> you get back here now! You understand me? What'd you say? This? What'd you say? Get back here now. Get back there now? Right now! Hey, your phone's a bit muffly, I speak up a bit. Can you speak a bit louder, please? Don't you understand what I'm saying? No! 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 Here now, <laughs> unfortunately, unfortunately, we can't do that, can we? We're stuck in traffic now, we're going to be a couple of hours. <laughs> We accidentally drove. I think. Hang on, we lost them. We. Yeah, I don't know where we are. I don't know where we are, Richard. Let's I'm telling you now. You better get back here quick. Jamie, listen to me now. Get back here right now. You. I, I'm sorry. I can't do that, Richard. You better. Uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, you are gonna have to find your. Own, you're gonna have to walk back. I don't know where you are. You're about 50 minutes away from home. I don't know where you are. We don't know where you are. No. And uh, I'll speak to you later. Have, have a good journey home, yeah? I'll see you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>
<laughs> he's gonna go absolutely mental. Guys, I think he's back home. I think he's back home. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <gasps> Jimmy, where are you? What? It was embarrassing. What? Why well, you left me in a garage, didn't you? Yeah, and? And I had to get my ex girlfriend to give me a lift home. You never? Yeah, four errors. <laughs> You stupid little boy! <laughs> wait, hang on, whoa, whoa, whoa. You got your ex girlfriend to pick you up? Yes, it was embarrassing, wasn't it? Why didn't you just walk? Well, it's too far from me, isn't it? Wait, wait so what? I you know it is. What did you ring your ex for? Because I didn't get home tonight. What, so you rang your ex girlfriend? Yes! And now, because I asked her for a lift, she thinks I like her again now. <laughs> You've really messed my life up, haven't you? <laughs> wait, hang on. Your just ex get it! Listen, what? Your ex girlfriend thinks you like her again? Yes! Why? Because you asked her for a lift? Yes! Why? Well, I spoke to her again, didn't I? <laughs> she said I'd only you a lift. If I give her a kiss. What, so you kissed her? Well, I actually to get a lift on, didn't I? <laughs> Wait, hang on, you kissed your ex-girlfriend? Yes. Why? Well, I wanted a lift, didn't I? <laughs> hey, hey. Calm down. Just because of you. <laughs> Again. Well, and your brother. Where is that little bugger anyway? He ran away. Well, you wait till I see you in <laughs> Sin for out here. Uh, four hours later and you're back. Just He's a good get away. <laughs> Calm down. Just get him. You're a serious trouble with me now, boy. Hey, hey. Calm down. Hey, calm down. Hey. <laughs> so today, my dad is about to get arrested and go to jail forever. The police are at the door right now and he's about to find out that he's going down. But first, let me explain why this is happening. For the past 24 hours, myself and my girlfriend Lauren decided it would be funny to make a ton of wanted posters about Richard. We spent hours and hours designing and making the most realistic wanted poster on the computer. Lauren, I think we've just made the most realistic wanted posters ever. We went onto Google, looked for the world's most realistic wanted posters that are actually real and just copied them. After a few hours, we finally had finished our designs and we printed off over over 50 of them. We wanted to get revenge on my dad Richard. And if you haven't seen, recently in my family there's been a massive prank war going on. And I wanted to take it to the next level and prank Richard really badly. And this is exactly what I did. Right, so we now have over 50 of these posters guys that are going to go everywhere all around our local area. He has no idea he's at home and he thinks nothing. He doesn't even know. He's gonna walk to the shop probably and just find his face. Let's <laughs> find his wanted. Now let's actually read what it says. So this is what the poster says guys. It says wanted and then it says Richard Nyland, date of birth, 5th of the 4th, 1956, which is his real date of birth. And this is the best bit, guys. An arrest warrant for Richard Nyland has been issued pursuant to a serious burglary and robbery <laughs> involving the theft of jewellery on December the 6th, 2022, which is a few days ago. A warrant for his arrest, arrest has been issued. If you see Richard, please stay far away as he could be dangerous <laughs> and could put your life in danger. <laughs> If you see Richard, please get in touch with the police as soon as possible for urgent action. Now there's one more bit that I didn't show you, Lauren, which I added on myself. £5,000 reward from the Crime Stoppers. Oh no! And at the bottom is a fake number, it's not real. It's a fake number. Everyone's going to be trying to get hold of him for that £5,000. <laughs> People are probably going to actually try and find him. Yeah, I know! That's a fake number though, so they can actually ring it, but... It looks pretty real to me. So after we printed off over 50 wanted posters, we thought it would be funny to go around and stick these posters all over the local town. From lampposts, to shops, to even the garages, to restaurants and people's front doors. We wanted everyone in the local area to see these posters. And we actually wanted everybody to believe it. And we wanted Richard to actually believe that the police made these wanted posters themselves. So we put them everywhere. After we finished sticking these posters everywhere around the local town, we were going to tell Richard that somebody had put these posters up and revealed to him what was going on. But then Lauren had a much bigger and better idea and was much more evil. I think it's time now we go and tell Richard that we found them. Do you reckon? I've got a better idea. Oh no, what? I think posters are not enough we need to make him really panic how are we gonna do that pretend the police made him wait well, what are you suggesting get a police officer involved i sure am <laughs> how are we gonna get a police officer so now all we needed was a police officer to come and arrest richard and make this become a real evil prank after thinking for a while all of a sudden a great idea sprung to mind leslie, leslie! Yeah! right leslie we need your help how can i help you Wow, we're pranking Richard with these posters. Saying he's wanted for burglary and theft and we stuck them all over the village. There's, we stuck him in the restaurants, the shops. Everywhere. Petrol state, people's front doors. And we're making him believe that he's actually wanted. But Lauren had a good idea. We need a cop, we need a policeman, don't we? Yes, we sure do. And we were thinking, who could 
potentially pretend to be a cop and get in this prank. And guess who we thought of? Ooh. You! <laughs> Are you down? Going for it, yes. Right, put this on. And here's your police hat. And we will need your help later on today. No worries. Deal? Deal. Let's do it. <laughs> right, so we're going to go into Richard's house right now and tell him we found all these posters everywhere all around the town. We've got a few spare because we printed like 50 of, didn't we? Yes. But we're going to go tell Richard right now we found them all over the area and he needs to take them down now. So that is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to go into that house and tell Richard that the police have put wanted posters everywhere and he is wanted by the police. Let's do this. Richard, quick, wake up. No, this is serious. You need to see no, this, doesn't it? Honestly, this is really serious. What? Look what we found everywhere. All over the village, didn't we, Jamie? Everywhere. Look. Look at this. You're wanted. Do you think I'm fickle, Summer? What? You printed them, didn't you? No, we didn't. Oh, no, yes, yes, you didn't. did. At first, Richard thought this was a prank and that me and Lauren put these posters up ourselves. But we convinced Richard to actually believe this by showing him photos on Lauren's phone of all the posters all over the town. On the shops, on the garages and even on the restaurants. It didn't take long for Richard to actually believe it and then rushed out of the house to take all the posters down as fast Jimmy, as he could. Jimmy, what are you going to do? I haven't done nothing wrong. Well, I don't know, Richard. What help me? The police have obviously put these up everywhere. Come on, let's go and get them. Well, yeah, but listen a second. If he, Even if you wrote them all down, you're still wanted. I'm not. You are. Richard was really beginning to panic. He genuinely believed that the police had put these posters up and they were all over the town. He was running through the streets, ripping down all the posters from the restaurants, from the shops and from all the bus stops and lampposts. He genuinely thought the police wanted him and believed this prank thoroughly. He was panicking and panicking and panicking and eventually he gave in. He wanted to call the police and rectify this whole problem and put an end to this. As he really believed it. Seriously, Jamie, I don't know what to do. I just have to ring the police and explain this. Well, go on then, ring them. I have to, won't I? Let's go home and ring them now. You have to Help me. Lauren, Jimmy, what are you going to do? These are everywhere in the village. I'm going to get arrested. Help me, please. Listen, calm down. Just calm down. I can't. Let's, let's, do, let's, let's do this properly. Down. Why don't you ring the police yourself? Ring the police and just explain to them that these posters are everywhere. You're not wanted. You haven't committed a crime. I mean, did you steal jewellery? No. Are you sure? Yes. If you have, just tell us now. I have not. It's okay if you have. If you have. I haven't. Just, you know, just admit it if you have. I have not. Okay, well, if you're, if you're confident, Ring the police then. I want you to help me. Well, ring the police. If you don't ring the police now, you're going to get arrested anyway. So ring the police. I can't get arrested for someone I am done. Well, you can because they think you have. Well, I am done it. Well, the whole village thinks you have because I'm in the village. If you don't ring them now, you could be in worse trouble. Well, so ring them quick. Do it, won't I? No, and I can't believe it's actually worked. He actually he fell for it. He's so thick. So thick. Just before Richard was about to ring the police, we had one more thing up our sleeves that was going to make this prank even more believable. As you guys remember previously in this video, we got his brother Leslie in on the prank, pretending to be a policeman. And he was about to knock on the door to make this prank even more believable. He was dressed in a full police outfit and made it look the real deal. And this is how Richard reacted. Oh no! Quick, 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 too late, I told you to ring I told you, you should have rang the police, we told you! Run, quiet! Hello, police officer. <laughs> Richard ran upstairs and tried to hide in the shower. I don't know why, but he was about to reveal that this was all a prank, and all along, me and Lauren and Leslie were in on this prank, and it was just a joke. Prepare for his reaction. He was not Richard, happy. Richard, the police here, you're gonna have to come out. No, you, I didn't get nothing wrong. You're gonna have to come out. Oh, what are you in the shower for? I did. I see through. I did. Well, come, please come in. Come on, in you come. Come in, no. come in. Come in. You stupid old man! You d <laughs> Richard, it was a joke the whole time. Me and Lauren made those posters. I knew it! <laughs> and your brother was in on it as a copper. I was, yes, all the time. That's it! You three's in trouble with me now! All three of you! And you get all three of you back! You stupid old bunker! <laughs> That's it now! You, get out of my way! Honestly, you're so dumb, Richard! Get out of my way, yes! Get out of my way! You are a horrible man! You're a midget and you're a fat midget! You horrible man! Calm down, Richard! No! You're just not. Hey, listen! Now stop pushing me! Hey, listen! Stop pushing me! It's not my fault that you were stupid enough to fall for it. <laughs> he was running wow. running around the town, taking all the posters down. What a plonker! <laughs> I am not for you three! Get him! Oh. Alright, okay, that was good payback! Payback! Yes, it is, you three! I'm gonna get you all back! The prank's gonna continue! 
And it's gonna be worse than that, I'm telling you! Wait for the next video! This prank war is getting crazier and crazier by the day. And if you guys want to get involved, comment your ideas down in the comment section below right now and subscribe with notifications turned on for the next video.